Try again! Nope, you're not wrong. What you're seeing on your screen is indeed happening. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, you're probably either blind or stupid, and to the stupid ones who unfortunately exist, I'm standing here smoldering. I'm dying and I'm in so much pain. My cloth for skin is literally flaking off my body. And you can't exactly stop, drop, and roll to put out the fire when you're A, trapped inside of a box that's smaller than the space between the rock's butt cheeks. Alternatively, it's smaller than the space between Africa and Asia. There's a smart joke for you. And B, if you're a floating hoodie like me, making contact with the ground wasn't exactly in the curriculum when the voices in your figurative head told you how to work this shit. Anyways, I'm gonna put this fire that's on my body out, otherwise motion tracking this bitch is gonna take a hell of a lot longer. Probably like a couple extra millennia or something. And I don't really have time for that, so I'm going to douse the flames in the only way I know how. Through the power of Deus Ex Machina. Woo! Magical fire dousing banana! Neat! But now that you know what I'm talking about when I say that I'm on fire, you may be wondering, quite, why were you doing that? Why were you just standing in fire like Ghost Rider, except without the being immune to the fire that you're standing in part? Well again, for those of you who are blind, so wouldn't be able to read the title to get the potential reference. First off, how did you even get to this video? And secondly, let me start from the beginning. A few months ago, I made a video called How to Bait Rice Gum, in which I told you how to bait rice gum. And now rice gum has responded to some of the people who tried to bait him in the past. In it, I said his reaction is oftentimes an entire video dedicated to what may amount to only two seconds of roast, in an otherwise completely unrelated to rice gum video, which unfortunately, I was wrong in predicting that he would make a video along the titles of something like, guy who just realized Pokemon, you know, the fictional monsters, one of which is just a giant bee with drills for arms could potentially kill you roasted me in response to some of game theories poking at him well it turns out i've managed to do the same thing that my predecessors like markiplier and the odd ones out have done and i've cajoled a video response out of rice gum or i guess i've kind of done the reverse where instead of making a less than a minute long roast dedicated to rice gum in a video that's otherwise unrelated to him and then he makes a video responding to that it seems rather like i've made an entire video on him and in response i've been featured for a couple milliseconds in one of his videos along with several other people at the same time in other words i heard that rice gum roasted me how to bait quite sequel to how to bait rice gum coming soon but i've just been chilling here trying to do some different stuff making fake fan accounts and stuff trying to do my own business trying to change my ways but then i hear about this guy who's roasting me i don't even know who this guy is apparently his name is like rick gum or something at first i didn't recognize this guy but then i went to his channel and i realized i've talked about this guy before only a few times so i'm over here like changing my ways you know trying to be positive you know minding my own business but then i started getting these tweets these messages talking about this youtuber is talking bad talking dirty about me i don't even know who this guy is they started tagging mm -hmm. him his name is like thaws one out at first his name just doesn't ring a bell and then i went on his channel i'm like wait a minute i know this guy he's talked about me before but regardless this rick and morty guy just dropped a new video called i fake my fortnite gameplay and apparently he roasts me in it i don't know if he does i've just been told that he does but i want to find out for myself can't let no gossip control the streets of gotham if you know what i'm saying i hope he really isn't roasting me man that would really hurt my feelings but anyways this guy just dropped a brand new video and apparently in this video he's talking bad about me i don't know you know i've been told this i want no, I want to find out because I, mean, I really hope he doesn't. I really hope he isn't talking bad about me because, like, I have respect for this guy, man. You know, nowadays YouTube is all about just posting videos every day, daily, daily, daily. This this dude posts like a video every month. As you guys know, there's a ton of speculation around my Fortnite gameplay. People think it's not me playing. There's tons of videos trying to expose me where they look at my hand movements to match with the in-game movements. Wait a second. I made a video with the title Rice Comes Fortnite Gameplay is Fake. That might indicate me doing something similar to what Rice Comes describing other other people is doing in this video. It's kind of reminding me of myself. It really is. But I think it might be too soon to assume that he's talking about me. It's kind of a big jump to make, you know? I mean, for all I know, he could be talking about someone completely different. <gasps> hey guys, did you see my brand new Rolex? <laughs> yo, yo, two dudes are chilling in a hot tub. Random guy pops up. That random guy has black hair, supreme shirt, a watch, and he's flexing on people. I mean, it kind of reminds me of myself. It really does. I think it's too soon to assume anything. So As you guys know, there's a ton of speculation around my Fortnite gameplay. People think it's not me playing. There's tons of videos trying to explain. Wait, are you for real? Are you telling me he's going to put Kappa Kaiju's video at the top just because it got a million views? Sayonara, Kappa Kaiju. Bah! Also, thanks for buying my hoodie, Kappa. But no way, man. Putting Kappa at the top just because he got a million views is not cool. But if you look closer, there's a video with the title Rice Gums Fortnite Gameplay is Fake in the bottom 
bottom left corner. And the guy who uploaded its name is K White or something with a check mark next to his name. I don't know if you guys know this, like I know my name is Quite, but my real, real life name is Quite. And out of all the videos by different people, Ricegub could have picked to use as an example, he chose one by this Quite guy? That's my name! And it was redundant to put it in there because Kappa Kaiju's in that video as well as his own. He should have just taken out Kappa's and put up whatever he's trying to represent as my video up there to save space since both me and Kappa are in that video. And so I'm the one out of the bunch with the most views. I'm really starting to think that this rice gum guy is throwing shade at me and I don't like it. I mean, he didn't even watch all the videos that he showed, just Kappa's and he didn't even finish it. <laughs> As you guys know, there's a ton of speculation around my Fortnite gameplay. People think it's not me playing. There's tons of videos trying to expose me where they look at my hand movement. Oh, come on. A thumbnail with a purple background with a picture of rice gum on top of it and then a thumbnail for one of rice gum's videos behind rice gum? Not only is this guy using a video from a guy named Quite with a video that has the exact same title as mine as an example of a person trying to expose him for faking Fortnite gameplay, but the thumbnail for that video looks exactly like something I would make with the image of the person featured in the thumbnail looking like it was cut out of a magazine by a two-year-old. That's my signature shit. Is that a yellow Lamborghini? What? This guy is the artist. This guy is the writer of this whole video. Not only did this guy make a character with black hair that flex on people, but he names him Brian, and he has a yellow Lamborghini. Like, come on. This guy is talking about me. Yeah, I think you guys probably get the gist of the segment. But yeah, basically, in the video where Ricegum shows me and Kappa as examples of dudes trying to expose him for fake Fortnite gameplay, he at first admits to faking gameplay, and then he doubles back and says, he has a clever way to prove that he's not faking it. It's time to take some stuff off my chest. It's hard to sleep every night having this information. I fake my Fortnite gameplay. Psych! You wish I did? That's me playing! I just had to click right. button to grab your attention. For anyone that thinks I fake my gameplays, you can come watch me on Twitch live for like three hours. You're gonna see me do good. Imagine if I like do good in my videos and then on stream I start sucking. It's like things aren't adding up. No, trust me. All right, Rice Boy, we'll see how this goes. Maybe I will turn up to your stream to see if you're consistently good at Fortnite. I probably won't be the best judge of character in that regard, seeing as I suck some absolute ass at the game, as I have proven and outed myself for on multiple occasions, but I'll bring Kappa with me, and he's only slightly worse than me. But that's because he's connecting to American East Coast servers from Australia. It's kind of like a balancing act, you just kind of have to see where it balances out. Though this does raise the question, when did Ricegum get unsuspended off of Twitch? If I recall correctly, he got suspended off there for like view botting or something back in like the Stone Ages of 2015 to 2016 or something around that time. All I know is that he did the said botting in a year previous to the one that Hugh Hefner died in, and also in a year prior to the one that the Tana Mojo single of the same name came out. Not sure which year exactly, but you know it was a relatively long ass time ago. Or maybe it wasn't, I don't know. In other news, Ricegum acknowledging that I exist is another person to check off the list of people who I've made videos on that acknowledge my existence. The first person was Nightmare Expo, and the second, and perhaps most low profile person was Onision, but my proudest achievement of all time, not just in being recognized, but just in general, was the recognition of the almighty green Lego cats one, two, three. Roblox God. The next people on the list are of course the Paul brothers and the one who will only be referred to as Forehead. And if there's any takeaway from this, I guess it's that I was right. I baited Ricegum, kind of, sort of. Eh. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. And if you're new, subscribe. If you guys have any thoughts or just shit posts, be sure to leave them in the comments below. The Venus Quite Trap Bridge is only going to be on sale for a couple more days. Remember, all proceeds go directly to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. So if you want to support a good cause and rep the channel a little bit, be sure to cop one. I also have a podcast with Wild Spartans and FBS Diesel called Loudmouse. We upload new episodes on Tuesdays and Saturdays, and we're up on iTunes, SoundCloud, and YouTube. You can follow me on Twitter at Quite and on Instagram at Quite.png. Links to all of those down in the description. I also have a Discord server if you're interested in checking that out. There's a link to that in the description as well. Anyways, this has been Quite, and this banana is literally falling apart because I was gripping it too hard, but I will see you guys next time. Okay, apparently we just got a fucking tweet of this girl yelling loud mouse in the hallway because we said that on the last episode. Shit, we are bad influences. Here, let's watch this together. Okay, all right. Hi, my name is Edo and I'm um, a techie. So that means I do sound and stuff for uh, theater and things like that. I'm about to do a mic check and I'm about to say how people should subscribe to loud mouse. Oh no! I hope you guys attention because I'm a really huge fan. Oh my God. <laughs> um, this is fucking stuff. great.
That shit's getting retweeted, bro. That's fucking getting retweeted. What a fucking baller.